Hey everybody, in this video I'm gonna be building a, a brushless gimbal for a, an action cam as small as a Mobius. Actually I'll be using it for my Denver AC1300 which is pretty much the size of the Mobius. And uh, what I'll be using is... Uh, I already have here two two RC timer motors. Uh, these are the ones with hollow shaft. Um, as you can see here, mm, there goes the problem with the camera that never gets to focus. Okay. GBM two twenty eight oh four nineteen hundred T RC timer. I bought these from Banggood. I have two of these. This one's still packed and they come with the with the bolts. And uh, these are my pens for my markings. I already have here paper templates. This one's for the front uh, holes on the motor, and uh, this one's for the back. And now what I have here is a, a piece of aluminum, and as you can see I've already made two lines. I'll be cutting this in two parts Then that then I will try to bend and transfer the, the holes here, drill some holes to then attach these parts to the to the motors okay so now I already have here the three pieces of aluminum cut this is pretty much what I'll need, what I'll need. Um, they measure about uh, zero and these they measure about not sure if you can see 24.4 by um, by 80.5 that's pretty much what these measure and they are about um, 1.3 millimeters thick pieces of aluminum so right now what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be transferring uh, oh first of all I'm gonna draw a line more or less in, in the middle of this and um, can't remember how much this was measuring oh yeah 24.4 this a bit yeah so off of this will be about 12 Okay, so I'm gonna be drawing a line in the middle of this, which is about 12.5 more or less, and uh, and then I'll be transferring the. The, the the holes in the paper here so that I can then drill the holes in the aluminum plates so this one's gonna work for the back what I'm about to do right now is try and center this here and actually this is
so this is more or less how it goes and all I have here the places where I should drill the holes okay I'm just gonna make two holes I think it's more than enough if I hang it to it will work fine and uh, well maybe it's better to do make four <laughs> okay I'll make four holes instead because I'm not pretty sure yeah these are the longer ones the longer ones so that means it's gonna go like this and the longer ones and actually this could be a bit a bit black yeah I'm gonna change it a little bit let me just use the other side If this, yeah, it's better like this. Okay, so I'm not using this side for now. And these are pretty much the places as you can see these are pretty much the places where I intend to drill my holes so that then I can attach it to the motors okay okay guys so while I was preparing to drill these holes I realized that one of these parts had to be longer because uh, the one that leaves from the one that goes from this motor and then has to bend to stay like this has to be a bit longer here so that then I have more clearance here for the motor because otherwise it will be here and the back of the camera would hit this so what I did was I just cut a longer piece which will be attached here and then I will be bending on this mark here and hopefully I will end up end up with something like this but which is a bit further away instead of the motor this motor staying here too close it will be a bit longer so that the camera has clearance in the back so this one is pretty much the same um, with only it only gets bigger Mm. Okay, so from side to side, measures twelve point six. Now I'll bend it here on this mark and then make the marks for the holes on the other side ok so now I already have it bent more or less at an angle of 90 degrees and we can start seeing how this will be mm -hmm. it's gonna be something more or less 
like this. We're gonna end up with something more or less like this, and then I can have more clearance or less clearance. Actually, if I was going to use a GoPro, I could put it like this. And would have enough space for the GoPro, but I'm not gonna use such a big camera as a GoPro. And also because it's too expensive. I'm gonna be using this one more or less here in the middle. And I'll have enough clearance in the back for for my camera. Okay. This is pretty much how it's gonna be. Just gonna make a mark here and another one here and so I know that this is my motor so I know this is where my motor is staying and uh, be something like this which I think is more than enough bit back and then the camera would hit but here the camera will not hit the the camera will not hit the the back of the gimbal I'm about to, to drill the holes but before I'll puncture each one of them this so that when I start drilling the drill bit does not get out of the place I want because that's something that usually happens and it's quite annoying because then you don't get your holes in the exact place you want them Okay. So, enough of this one. Okay, so so for these For these center holes, I'll be using an 8mm uh, drill bit so that the shaft, this shaft here, can go through so this is enough for that. And then for the small holes where the bolts, where the little bolts are gonna go through, I'll be using a 3mm drill bit and um, this is pretty much same size so that the bolts can go can go through easily Start drilling. I almost cut myself, but first hole is done. Now, let's go. Just let me hold it in place and 
for the first one. So, first one is done. Shit. This came out of place. It's not easy to be recording and doing this at the same time. And I'm trying to do it on camera, but... Okay, so second one is done. Third is done. This is done. Now let me just see if this will fit. Well, I think it's pretty good. It will fit. It will fit, yeah. Not perfect, but will do the job. So let's keep on doing the rest of the holes. Okay, all parts have been drilled, and uh, and now we'll just sand a little bit of the back. To make it completely flat because there, there are always remains of aluminum that stay on this side and so we'll just pick one of these and let's kinda make it smooth again yeah. so that I wanna place this upon motor it uh, it sits perfectly flat because like this it will it will not sit flat on the motor okay for example this is supposed to go here yep and the holes are pretty good will be the back, keep on doing the same on these ones and then we'll assemble it. <laughs> 